Well, hi everybody, it's Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm gonna be doing some rainbow Christmas penguins and fixing a huge bloop. I shot this video several times and I decided to leave the bloop in on this last time because, and I'll explain why later, but I'm using the Here We Go Waddling stamp set. And what I did was start out by ranging my pencils in the order I wanted. I have a pair for each penguin and I'm doing uh, warm colors and cool colors and warm colors, cool colors kind of opposite. Not really technically doing rainbow order, so don't leave comments in the doobly-doo about it's not really rainbow order because I wanted to have the, the warm versus cool. So I had that rotation. So this first little guy is gonna be purple and I'm using very sharp Prismacolor pencils and I'm just putting some shadows in a few spots. Now I am not pressing hard and some people think that pressing hard is the way to get a lot of color out. I'm gonna show you how to get a lot of color out of your colored pencils. A lot of folks think all you need to do is use your Copics instead, but no, you can get rich color out of colored pencils. So I'm just putting some light color down on each one. I'm gonna do all the coloring first and then I'm gonna do the brightening of all of the color. So I'm just throwing it on here. That's why we are speeding and coasting through. I will have a list of the colors in the doobly-doo down below as well as over on the blog if you're wondering what shades of each Prismacolor pencil that I used. But I kept them in order on my table as I was working and just kept pulling a pencil out because I'm gonna use two layers and I want the colors to be in order so that I can just grab the pencils quickly. If you're doing a lot of Christmas cards, then I would recommend doing that. Uh, you can do a, a mass stamping of a scene like this. The penguins, there's three of them in the middle and they're all one stamp. And then the little guy on the right and the little guy on the left are the only ones you would have to mask. So I put them in the misty, stamp a whole bunch with those two on the left and right, and then mask them out and stamp the ones in the middle. And then I added the lamp and the sentiment and the little notes afterward. So you could mass produce these quite easily. And it's on a four by four piece of paper. Actually, it's going to be four by four. It's four and a quarter by four and a quarter right now, but I will trim it down when I get it to the finished card. For the hats and things, I decided to use a kind of dirty blue, a, a dusty kind of a blue color. And that will be because I want to have them look like they're white, but I don't want it to look like their bodies because their bodies are also white. So I'm not putting any color in their bodies and just putting some in their, their hats and their scarves and other things. And we are not at the bloop yet. So if you see any mistakes, then those are staying, but the, the mistakes that's coming is going to be here in just a moment. But I'm filling out all my colors first with my pencils and I'm gonna use a brighter blue for the snow color down below to put a little ground underneath of them. It just always helps to add some sort of ground underneath with the stamps that you're using in order to give them something to stand on. Now hold your breath. Are you ready for the bloop? because it happened right there. You might notice there is a bloop at the bottom and a bloop at the top from my lovely bottle of Gamsol, which had a drip on the outside of the bottle. So I now have a bloop at the top and a bloop at the bottom. I thought about it for a second and I said, you know, I'm just gonna continue coloring. And I'm gonna see if that Gamsol dries back enough that I can just leave it. Because maybe it'll disappear, I don't know. I'm on Nina paper, so you may already have the answer in your head if you have tried this before and had bloops, but it's Gamsol, so it's got some chemical stuff in it, and I don't know what it's going to do, whether it's going to leave that grease stain on my paper. But what happens when we have goobers, when we have mistakes, is that for one, we've already ruined that piece of paper. Like if it's, if it's shot, then it's shot. Why not use that paper to learn something? So I was figuring even if I didn't end up using this for this video, I would have learned something about how this coloring was gonna work so I could reshoot it and do just fine. But I had other technical issues twice before this and those issues made me redo it again. So I decided I'm not gonna redo this one more time. We're gonna see if we can come up with an alternate craft solution to this error. So I sharpened my little blending stump again and I sharpened it so that I could get any color off of it 
because when I was going to color these things that are supposed to be white, I didn't want to accidentally drag any other color onto them because that can happen with these blending stumps. And I don't clean it between every single color, usually just colors that are not too similar to each other. So here I've got the blue and then I'll do the green and this is one sort of mini mistake. I had some green on there. You can see there's green under the guitar. It's not huge. It's just a little bit of green. But I'm still noticing that the bloop at the bottom is still a grease stain. And the bloop at the top has mostly disappeared. So maybe small bloops are going to be okay. And big bloops are a problem. That could be that could be the issue. But nonetheless, I am soldiering on as a good crafter should. And I'm continuing to color and learning what I can from this piece of paper. And that is that if I put another layer on top of this stuff that's already been damseled, Look how rich that color gets. So for everybody who thinks that you have to switch to your Copics if you want intense color, nope, you can just color a second layer on top of your Gemsold piece. And look at that. Look how beautiful and bright it is. And I'm not using much pressure at all. I'm doing my normal, very light pressure. I use a super sharp pencil. I use my quiet sharp pencil sharpener if you don't have a good pencil sharpener. It's worth every penny. It's not cheap, but it's really worth it. And I've had so many people email me a big thank you for it that I do recommend it to you. And it's not, I'm not just crazy in thinking that it's a good tool because it's a very good one. So I'm just putting my second layers of all of my colors on here. And the whole time I'm thinking, what am I going to do about the bloop at the bottom? Because even if I didn't keep the video, even if I bailed on it and said to heck with the penguins, they are not going to make it to YouTube. I still had to figure out how to save this card because I wasn't going to use all this coloring and then do nothing with it. But being the lawn fawn junkie that I am, I thought about my dyes that I have in my dye collection. Because you probably notice I don't use dyes very often, but there's a few dyes that lawn fawn has that I find extremely useful throughout the seasons, no matter whether it's spring, summer, winter, fall, anything because they're, they're scene builder type of things. There's lots of little things you can use for scenes. And so I went and dug through my collection and I found the sloped hillsides. And I die cut a piece that was bigger than my card so I could kind of move it around and figure out where what the best portion of the hillside is gonna be. And I just did some washi tape to hold it down and then I trimmed it all out so that it would fit on my card. And I used two different types of dimension. I used the little power tabs underneath of the slope so that it was just a little bit lifted off of the surface. And I used the big precious, the giant roll of 3M tape under the whole panel. So I have two slight layers of dimension. And it's just white on white and kept it nice and simple. So this would be a great card for mass producing. It's cute, it's adorable, and it's a lot of fun to color. And it has penguins. So how awesome is that? Be sure to click the like button if you have not yet already. There's more videos, there's classes you can look at here on the screen. You can click on my face to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.